Thor Strike 2023 demonstration event. The outlook was bright for the Electric Tactical Humanitarian Operations Resource, or ETHOR, prototype demonstration and testing event in Southern California this past June. The intent was to prove, both physically and in simulation, that integrating the best of commercial innovative technology into military platforms and operations works. Our event demonstrated a powerful, adaptable tool for military forces. So what is ETHOR? ETHOR is an integrated electric semi-autonomous mobile power station built by Danner, coupled with high-speed, low-latency, high-bandwidth 5G capabilities developed by AWS. Ethor's agility and traditional fuel independence as an electric vehicle platform coupled with the ability to store, transport, and export power support the dispersion and discretion of forces. Ethor's ruggedly mobile yet stable platform can travel to virtually anywhere, providing capabilities to anything from a command operations center to an in-place sensor to a roving e-vehicle on patrol. At the demo, a group of passionate stakeholders and invited guests assembled to demonstrate and assess Ethor's functionality. The team includes funding stakeholders, the Operational Energy and Capability Improvement Fund, and the Naval Information Warfare Center Pacific. The commercial sector team members include the project lead, Kena LLC, along with Danner and AWS. Also present were augments to the Ethor platform that amplified its versatility and effectiveness, including Athonnet, Digital Force Technologies, Moxion, renewable equipment, and Volcon. The ability to plug and play almost limitless combinations of powerful innovative tools is critical for the fifth generation warfighter. The demo began with stakeholders engaging in challenging discussion about lessons learned, goals for testing and evaluation, and the prototype's way ahead. Guests gathered to view a number of testing and evaluation sequences while project team members collected critical data. Capability tests provided information that will be used for modeling, simulation and analysis, and creating digital environments that synthesize results of multiple iterations of experimentation. A notional command and control expeditionary advanced base was set up to allow the team to demonstrate vehicle to grid and power export concepts. The Danner MPS provided power to a fully operational COC and charged a battery trailer allowing for the MPS to quickly disconnect while maintaining operational continuity. As the team provided an in-depth orientation of AWS COC, static sensors were in place and mobile sensors were sent into the maneuver area with patrolling units. The ETHOR responded to requests for power, traveling semi-autonomously across terrain and refueling an assortment of rugged e-bikes and four-wheeled vehicles equipped with additional surveillance and communications assets. A question often asked is, why are we integrating commercial technology and industry into the military development and acquisition trajectory? because traditional thinking and traditional solutions no longer fit the bill. One of the most powerful means to support military innovation is to look towards the capabilities and insights of the commercial sector. Its rapid cycle of innovation is necessary because of game-changing, widely available technologies, changes in warfare doctrine, the threat of near-peer adversaries, and wide-ranging environmental hazards and concerns. Embracing commercial technology where it best applies to military needs is one of the most effective ways to meet modern challenges. The Ethor demonstration and testing showed we're able to evaluate and showcase technology with the advantage of a military mindset and with direct communication to and from the end users. The logisticians, infantrymen, pilots and planners who need the right equipment right now. Ethor Strike 2023. For more information about Project Ethor and other Naval X SoCal Tech Bridge efforts, visit the SoCal Tech Bridge website at SoCalTechBridge.org. Thank you.